Paramotor departure, winds traveling 6 miles per hour east northeast, read back your conditions. Pretty wet, might make to take off a little harder. I'll just feel it out when I launch. Radar showing excessive wind and rain. But we don't want to get it too wet because that's pretty dangerous. Responding with code Yankee Oscar Lima Oscar, that is YOLO. Alright, here we go. Paramotor flight 001, take off clearance, let's get that sandwich home. Jimmy John's is a local sandwich shop that claims to have some of the fastest delivery times in the business, but today we're proposing a new means of getting food to the customer. In a brainstorming session, it took us approximately 45 seconds to decide the quickest and fastest way would in fact be through aerial flight and targeted projectile motion. Ignoring all potential lawsuits and through the power of science and engineering, we will be able to predict exactly what happens to a sandwich when launched out of the sky to ensure a safe and quick delivery to the customer. Time to see you. Forever. What's up? Good to see you. <laughs> Mark Honeycutt, a longtime friend and paramotorist who regularly uses an engine, propeller, and parachute to cruise through the sky. In order to predict an object's landing, I'll need to track all analytics of Mark's flight, including acceleration, velocity, and position. The best way to get this information is actually through a device that most of you use every day, a cell phone. After hours of debugging, I developed a website that can receive Mark's live flight information and perform all the calculations necessary for me to know when it's time to remotely trigger the sandwich drop. And all I need Mark to do is fly over the target. When someone calls in to place an order, the only information we need from them is latitude, longitude, and altitude, which you can get by simply walking out on your front porch. After the to-go order is placed, it's put into a delivery capsule. At that point, the delivery man takes the pod, tosses it onto a field, Mark swoops in, snatches it off the ground, and flies over the target house. And this is where science comes in. This pod gives us precise information on surface area and drag coefficients. These parameters help us to understand how the projectile will react to the forces of air and in the end be able to predict the path of travel. We're essentially going to take the angle of launch as the object leaves the glider and every one thousandth of a second calculate its new position based off of external forces such as gravity and air resistance. At any given point we will know exactly where it's at in the air right up until a thousandth of a second before it hits the ground. So so now we know where the object will land when I press the launch trigger, but how does that help us hit the target while flying over? Knowing Mark's live coordinates and the final landing location allows us to be able to predict exactly how far away he is from the front door. Then bam, now when the two numbers match, i.e. he's 10 meters away and it'll take 10 meters for the sandwich to get to the front doorstep, then it's time for me to press this button and trigger the drop. Latitude, we've got the longitude and we've got the altitude of the door over there. Where is this? Right behind. Swinging behind you. <laughs> I don't see it kicking up though. Your wing is too wet. We'll see what it does, I'll feel it. And it becomes dangerous. We put a time delay in that accounts for cellular and trigger delays. The website will convert this amount of time to a distance based off of Mark's current speed. This way, when all the numbers match and we think it's time to trigger the drop, all the delays will be accounted for, causing the sandwich to land right on target. Zoom lens, because I can do some wing overs right here. Where's that ball? Are we doing this? Sandwich is in position. Woo -hoo -hoo! Hamstring cramped up on that one. Awesome, go ahead and reach for altitude. I will climb up and get the phone set. Let me know when. All right, your phone's ready. Go ahead and turn west, 17 degrees. In position. I need you 13.2 meters away, starting countdown. 95, 87, 78. I accidentally pressed the button, no. No, did it drop? Oh, it's my turn. 
press the button too early, man. It, it's a sense of Hunter button. has ruined everything. Just kidding. <laughs> it's okay, Hunter. You got yourself a little crowd on the road. There we go. All right, let's get in the air and knock this one out. Going for it on this one. 130, 123, 115, 100, 97, 84, 71, 63, 52, 41, 36, 22. Wow! checking out this video that was extremely time consuming so many moving parts and I even left out a bunch of the engineering just to try and keep things short and interesting you can check out mark at his YouTube channel link in description and don't forget to smash that subscribe button because it's vital to help build this channel and create more videos until next time I'll see you guys then